Hello everybody, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I want to show you a new NES emulator, the Nintendo Classic Edition for homebrew-enabled Nintendo Switches, and this basically turns your Switch into a NES Classic Edition. So this is a NES emulator with a user interface that clones the Nintendo Classic Edition with music and thumbnails of the games. And in order for this to work, you will need a homebrew enabled Switch along with RetroArts installed. For my demonstration today, I'm currently on 6.0 firmware using XX Pro for my homebrew applications, but this should work with other homebrew setups as well. Although this user interface looks exactly like the NES Classic Edition, it doesn't function the exact same. Basically how it works is it lets you scroll through the games and select the games you want to play, but everything else is handled by the RetroArch menus. So I'm going to try a game I played previously, let's try DuckTales, and I do have a safe game state in here so we're going to go ahead and load that. Now to access the RetroArch menu, you will not be able to do that until you start a game. So I'm going to push the plus and minus button again, and then scroll down to load state. That should take me right back to where I was playing previously. And there it is. So it basically does all the same stuff that the Nintendo Classic Edition can do, but you have to access it through the RetroArch menus. And if you're interested in getting this homebrew application, I will leave a link down below. And this will include the homebrew application along with an NSP so you can install this right to your main menu. So let's take a look at the contents of the download. And inside here is going to be an SD folder. If we click on that, will be a Switch folder. And that's what we're going to copy over to the root of the micro SD card for the Nintendo Switch. And if we go back to that same screen we were on before, there's going to be an NSP, and that's what you're going to install to the root of your microSD card as well if you want that NSP title to be on the main menu. And again, I'm using the XX Pro for my homebrew application, so if I click on the album icon, that'll give me access to the homebrew. And inside here, I do have the option to install the NSP, which I have done. And that gives me access to the NES Classic Edition through the main menu. And again, I have already mentioned this, but you will need RetroArch for this to function properly. Otherwise, a lot of things are not going to work correctly, like save games and various other features. So I have two ways I can access this NES Classic Edition emulator. I can go through the Homebrew apps right here and load it this way, or I can go back to my home screen and load it that way, which is the way I prefer, and it's a little bit easier. So this is a newer Homebrew application, so it does have a few bugs. One in particular is if you're using the NES Classic Edition emulator and playing a game, and push the power button to put it in sleep mode. When you go to wake it back up, that sound's gonna get all messed up sounding and sound really distorted. And the only way to fix this and stop this is go ahead and push the home button and then close the application. Also keep in mind, if you push the home button when you're using the NES Classic Edition emulator, the music's gonna keep playing in the background. And the only way to get this application to close is to go ahead and push that X button and close it manually, or start another application such as another game. So it does have a few issues, but overall, I think this is a very cool homebrew application, and it turns your Nintendo Switch into a NES Classic Edition. Kind of. Well, it's time for me to go. If you liked that video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. And have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.